Welcome back to the Inner Realms. As you can see, I've been decorating the place. Yep, been working on getting it nice and roughed up, looking like an ancient jungle temple, looking like the, the jungle is creeping back in. We even moved, uh, let's see if you can see him yet. There's a birdie up there, and there's a birdie up there, and hey, and over here, I'd like you to meet. Come on, look at me, look at me. Come on, look down at me, please, please. Okay, we're going to go up there and see her. This, this is Alice. Everybody say hi to Alice. Hi, Alice. Yes, there, you look to me, good kitty. So, it's not a cat, but you can still, uh, they still kind of are kind of friendly. Yeah, yeah. Isn't, isn't biting me, good kitty. Scratch on the head, scratch between the ears, yeah. There you go. Okay, so Alice lives up there, and down here we are living. I uh, got a little workstation set up here. Uh, I think you saw all of this storage. But now we've got all of these in place. So I'm thinking it's time to get working on a project. Now, as you'll see out here, I've been clearing away the trees. This was all jungle trees. And look, by doing that, we've got this beautiful, beautiful lake down here. Oh, look at this. Isn't it pretty? Can't you just can't you just picture a, a, a waterfall streaming off over there and some fish swimming around? Oh, we can make this place look beautiful. Uh, you'll notice here I've started a little bit. Oh, I haven't shown you these. And there's these little pools. Look at these little these little jungle pools. There's one on that side and there's one over here on uh, on this side of the temple. So let me show you, I want to show you one other thing here before we get back to the temple. And that is over here where I've been doing a little bit of a sugarcane farm. There was this cave and I came in here and I noticed if you look up here, now I hope YouTube processing will do this justice, but that's, oh, that's a skeleton. We're, we're about to die. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need a bow and I need to shoot you. Okay. There you go. What was I saying again? Oh, check out the view. Look at this little cave and the, the way, just the way the light filters through the green up there. It's gorgeous. So I think this is going to be the entrance. I'll take those arrows. Uh, this is going to be the entrance to our mine and back over here. So let's get head on back over here. And uh, I want to show you what I'm doing here with the temple. Oh, by the way, we um, we got a cow. Just one. We need another one if we're going to be, uh, you know, cooking steak. And, and we have, wait, is that a chicken? No, that's a birch log. And we have somewhere up here. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, there it is. Beehive. So we are all stocked. I'm loving this location. And look at this temple. Look at that. So as I'm looking at this, I'm going to I'm going to say something now. I'm I'm going to say something now and you're not going to be able to unsee it. I'm I'm sorry. I apologize in advance, but I I'm going to show it to you. Are you ready? It looks like a robot head. It does. It totally does. I I I can't unsee it. It looks look at it, a little head and then the neck comes in and then the body comes out and yeah. Yeah. Looks like a robot head. What am I ever going to do? I'm sorry. So I started thinking, hmm, what if this little temple that Mo Yang gives us is only the tip of the iceberg? What if the real temple is down below? And so we built these sort of, I don't know, ziggurat, ziggurat stairs coming out here so I could get up and down to clear away the trees. And I started messing around with some cobblestone and thinking, what would this temple look like if we dug the dirt away? And so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to start digging away the dirt and see what kind of temple presents itself under this hill and under the robot head. Now I want to do something different for this time lapse, um, mainly because it, it isn't going to be a very interesting time lapse. I mean, seriously, w watch the whole thing. You, you'll agree with me. Boring. I mean, I, come on, look at me. I'm just, I'm just putting down cobble. But I, I want to talk about why I'm placing cobble. 
Have you, have you ever read one of those art books where they, they claim you can draw like a pro in three simple steps? They always have that rough sketch, and then uh, the second image is something slightly filled in, and then the third is always this perfect, finely detailed image. I, let me tell you, no one learns to draw from reading those books. Drawing and painting are thousands of steps, but what I'm doing here in this time lapse is just that initial sketch. I'm, I'm laying out the shapes that will, you'll, you'll see it in just a minute, are going to be my final detailed image. I'm determining here what the canvas is that I'm going to paint the temple onto. I just happen to have a ton of cobble, so that's why I'm using cobble to sort of whitewash the painting space. Now, here's the thing about Minecraft. You can paint in whatever way you want to paint. Sometimes I go into creative and I work out some rough sketches, particularly if I'm trying to work out a new idea. Some people like to completely create their buildings in creative and then bring them into survival using tools like, 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 uh, like Matica. Uh, That's totally cool. I just like to force myself to do the work right here in survival with the canvas I have, with the blocks that I have available. So, this doesn't look like much of a temple, does it? Right? It, this looks like 2011 Minecraft, just a big box, but it's a rough outline. So after this time lapse, I'm going to go onto the server, I'm going to spend a few hours detailing this out to get that final image that I'm after. So this is me, uh, standing on a tree. Yep. And you can tell from the sugar cane down there exactly where we are. That is our lake. And when we turn around, you're going to get to see what I've done on the temple. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here she is. And let me tell you, this, this might be my favorite view. Favorite view from up here on the tree. Now, I've only really detailed this quadrant right here. I think the plan is to get this where I like it, and then maybe on a live stream. Oh, look, another ocelot. What if that's the one from earlier? Uh, yeah, then the plan is maybe on a live stream we will uh, move that around and detail the other four quadrants. Now, I am going to keep part of it buried. I thought, uh, I, I think that creates a nice look if it's sticking out from uh, from under a little hill right here. So probably back here we'll keep it buried and over here it's partially buried. In fact, let me give you a little tour. Okay, now this is kind of what it looks like before I detail it. I've started to put in some shadow using, uh, using black wool here. Actually, I think that's dark gray wool and a, a little bit of leaves. But over here, uh, see we have these braziers right here not those kind of braziers and i uh, thought that thought that added a neat effect to the front and we've built in these ancient arches that are just falling apart a little bit and you see here we've got some uh, we've got some depth uh, some of the grass some of the greenery is growing back into the walls and notice here we've used walls in a number of places to create just a little bit more detail and I put a lot of grass up here because, you know, without the green, it all those grays just faded, faded together. And so this is, I like what this grass does to really brighten up the area. And we came around this way. We'll go up those stairs in a minute. Just want to show you here. Uh, we come, we've partially buried right along here. I need to do a little detail work in here. Uh, add, uh, add some more. Hi, hi, Ocelot. Uh, add some more dirt to rough things up here. Let's head up here. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Um, that's not Alice, by the way. Uh, and then same thing up here. Um, now, this beam is from a beacon I installed down below. We'll talk about that in just a second. But you can see we can go right around here. And I've finished out. I've done all the shaping here. I haven't finished detailing over here. In fact, if we come down this way, I can jump up here. See, I'm, I want to leave it still uh, still halfway buried, but uh, a little more detail work. A little more detail work to do down here. And if we go around back, follow the ocelot, you'll see we found a, um, we found a lava pool. And so I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I kind of want to keep it 
if I if we don't keep it, I want to bucket it up and save all that lava for something else. I have another plan for that lava. Here we are at the back. Uh, so it's entirely shaped all the way around. Uh, I have shaped it out. The next plan is to head down here and go down our stairs just like this, turn around. And what I would like to do, see all this, all this detailing right here. We've even had some plants, some vines that comes around to this edge. Ooh, I just really, ooh, see, look at this. Look, look at that right there. What a, what a picture. That's that screenshot material right there, right there. But the next thing we need to do is I need to go inside there and hollow out that entire thing. So while I'm doing a bunch of digging and mining, why don't you head over to the shopping district and watch this clip from earlier when I met up with Miner. Well, I'm thinking the next thing I need to do in terms of environmental promotion is get rid of... S oh my goodness, look at the slime. Look at the slime that has collected over here. I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that this is this is going to need some work. Let, let's see if we can find Miner here. Uh, uh, maybe he's over here working on his new build. Oh, he's built a road complete with VIP parking. Oh, there he is. Miner. Oh, hello. Miner, um, I, I, I think I, I think you have a problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was uh, I was just flying I over. And because uh, I don't know if you uh, if you noticed, I've been building the wall on the shopping district. And uh, hold on, hold, hold on, stay right there. Are you okay? What? Why? You got arrow. You got an arrow straight through the top of your head. Oh wait, it just. Oh well, now it's in a. Ooh, it looks like I got quite a few in my hand. <laughs> you, you're fine. You should be <laughs> fine. Oh, uh, one of us needs to sleep. It's getting late. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. I got a bed. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I don't know if you noticed, I was flying, I was, I was flying, I was flying in just now. I was, but I was building the wall over there and I noticed something. I noticed, um, you've got, have you, I don't know if you've seen this, you've been over here working on your road. I don't know if you've seen yeah, this, but yeah. there's, there's some slime. There's a, there's a lot of, lot of slime poop. Is that, that can't be from this guy. Yes, I mean, yeah, he's a... He's a pooper? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. This excavator's entirely covered in it. Jeez. He, uh... he must have... Uh, he must have got loose. I put him down there to uh, try and contain him. I have to have Zhaosh move him later on. Yeah. But he must have got loose again. Yeah, he's going to... this is more... He's going to get in the way when that game comes. Yeah, uh, this is more... Then uh, was originally here. Yeah, I I don't know. Maybe he's having babies. Could be, could be, could be. Uh, so how's uh, how's it going with the game? Have you gotten permission yet to uh, move ahead? Um, uh, no. Well, about that. <laughs> about uh, that. <laughs> there has been a heist of my paperwork. Ooh. Of uh, the blasting permit and all yeah. other appropriate paperwork. Yeah, you told me you had that. Yeah, well, now it's been it's gone missing. It's it's been stolen by the underground, and they've hidden it somewhere. I have no idea where. Hmm. Uh, so so, uh, council says I cannot proceed until I have that. Well, um, I'm assuming the council's not going to be too pleased if they come over here and see all of this uh, <clears throat> poop. All right. Well, yeah, I mean they're. I'm I'm treading on thin ice as it is. <laughs> oh, well. Why don't we Why don't we clean some of this up? I got I got time. Um, I I, I was gonna say I'm getting paid for this, but as far as I know, I right. haven't I haven't been even been elected yet. But uh, you know, I'm 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 still campaigning, still campaigning for EPA. That's 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 right. me promoting so, the environment. Promoting the environment. So let's uh, let's get going here. Let's yeah. clean uh, let's clean some of this up, and maybe we can win your uh, paperwork back.
eating, but they're making they're making lots of slime. Uh, let's see. I know oh, it's here's it's some everywhere. There's some more over here by the excavator. Uh, oh, there's some here, here by the truck. Yep. Uh, do I have any dirt to fill this up? Cause yeah, it's like it's like melding into the dirt here. Um. Um. Miner. Yes. My, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. There's still a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I think. I don't know. I. I think I found something. What? I, I, I don't. What? I was just digging slime. I promise. I was just digging slime. I didn't dig up any dirt. Uh. That's, di what is that? It's not natural. And what's not natural? That's for sure. I, I figured you'd built it. No. The, you've got an excavator here mm -hmm. on a pile of rock and it's uncovered bones and that's it uh, well um do you think it's do you think it's safe well there's slime down there so we should be safe i mean if we if i land on poop it'll break my fall won't it i believe i believe poop breaks your fall in this game yes oh are you alive you look alive yeah i'm fine okay i'm, I'm fine. coming i'm following you it's bouncy poop. Ooh, bouncy <laughs> poop. I what is this? Oh my goodness. I think um I think I we found your underground. <laughs> the secret base of the underground. Patent pending. Oh hey, yeah, 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 look. yeah. What? Look, look, what? look, look, look. What'd you find? Blasting permit. These are the <gasps> notarized ones. Oh ho, ho, ho. you know what this means. You know what you know what it means. <laughs> I can, I can blast. Yay! I can pull some things up. Yay. Oh, this is it. This is it. Yes. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. And to think, so I'm gonna. And to think, all because we were picking up poop. Yes. <sighs> Beautiful. Promoting the environment. Beautiful stuff. Well, I'm going to take these paperwork I, i'm not gonna okay i'm not going to uh put them back in the vault i'm just no. going to get the council together and uh present them so we can proceed yes oh you know i i really whoever the underground is um you know they they're under they i'll give them this they're underground but yes <laughs> when you build your base on the base of the very people you're trying to destroy. I don't know if that works. No, it's uh, not very well thought out. <laughs> oh, check out. Look Ooh, in this hey. chest. I think I know who's been putting this slime all over here. I don't yes. think it's your slimer. I'm going to leave that extra slime right in there. Yeah, the, here you go. I don't, need, I don't need any of this. I don't, I don't have any reason to store poop. But I think... Well, I think we know who the guilty party is now for all this slime because it, it couldn't have been Slimer. He's been he's been caged up. Right. Ah. Well, I got my I got my paperwork. So, um, thank you. You're welcome for helping me for helping me clean the area up and uh, and finding the paperwork. You are absolutely welcome. I can't get out of here. Why can't I get out of here? <laughs> Why can't I? Why is it so hard? to fly off of slime i don't know <laughs> is it is it even possible there, you oh, go. there we go there we go i'm out and i'm away minor it's been good and i will see you later let me know how it goes with the council yes so here we are back again and i have completely dug out inside of the temple i don't have a door yet so i just have a little side entrance here and let me show you what we've got see here's our beacon and we've completely hollowed this out and i've got a plan i'm not gonna tell you yet don't worry upcoming episode you'll find out but i have a plan for what we are going to do in this entire temple it's going to be so cool that everybody on the server is going to want to come and see it so you just wait hold your horses and i'm going to get working on it but you may have noticed that uh the cow wasn't out there yeah i don't know if you can see the cow through here yeah see see empty 
empty stall out there, and that's because I brought the cows in here. Yeah, I figured I'd make up a little steak, so we built ourselves a little mini farm right here where we can breed up the cows, and eventually we will have some steak. And i get my seeds right here, and we can come over and breed up some chickens. And we'll have some feathers and some chicken and all those good things that we need. Oh, don't need that. Okay, there we go. I didn't see any eggs in here. Yep, three eggs. So we take the eggs and we come over here and we shoot them in. There's one chicken. Nope, just got one more chicken. Good, good. And one other thing that I did while I was down here. Oh, I couldn't resist. I, I had a little evening free. And so I came back here, and behind this wall are... Yeah, hear it? Hear it? Hear the spiders? That's because the spiders don't like this version of a mob farm, but everything else does. Yep. Yep, we're getting bones, we're getting rotten flesh, we're getting gunpowder, which I needed uh, because we're running low on rockets. We're getting a few string, uh, definitely getting arrows, and some spider eyes, even got some pants. Not that I needed pants. But that's, uh, yeah, that's the inside of the temple. We did the inside, we did the outside, we took care of all that stuff over at Miner's Place. I think, I think this is made for a pretty good episode. So I'll see you guys next time on The Inner Realms.